As you enter Sutton Wharf, there's a cafe and turning circle to the right. Because the ice was so thick, I took a stroll through Ambien Wood to the Bosworth Battlefield Heritage Centre. If you moor up at the wharf down on the canal, it's only a, what, 10, 15 minute walk through this lovely wood up to the centre. It's set on the top of a Leicestershire hill to the east of the canal. The centre tells the story of the Battle of Bosworth on Monday, August the 22nd, 1485, which marked a major turning point in English history. There are a number of hands-on displays, lots of activities, and you can find out about the medieval warfare and how the battle unfolded. On that late August day in the summer of 1485, Henry Tudor brought a small rebel army to face the much larger Royal Army of the King Richard III. After heavy gunfire and Richard's mounted knights charging across the battlefield, the King was killed. The true location of the battle was discovered by archaeologists to the southeast of the centre. I know this story well, as in 2012 I was reporting for BBC News at the site of the former Greyfriars Friary Church in Leicester. It was there that King Richard III was found buried beneath that Leicester car park, and the news instantly went global. The ice had started to melt a bit and a number of other boats had already navigated up and down the Ashby Canal, so I carried on north. Just walking down to Market Bosworth with Molly. Um, towpath's a little bit slippery and typical, it's just started to rain, but um, I'm just going to pop into the town. Good job this bit is a bit frozen. Come. Oh, I nearly went over then. Oh man. Right, it's okay now. You trodden on something? Yeah, haven't you? Oh dear. Look at that. Let's have a look. Oh dear. It's only a thorn. There we go. Okay. It's a good job Molly walks to heel, as I'd left her lead in the car. Market Bosworth is just east of Bridge 42, and there are a number of supermarkets here, as well as a bank and a chemist. There is a post office in the town, but it only operates as an outreach service on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So today is my last day travelling north on the Ashby Canal. Um, I'll reach the end um, this afternoon, uh, just north of Boston Bridge I can turn around and then head all the way back. between Turnbridge and Townbridge there was a farm called Cato's Farm and lots and lots of boats moored up either side along the side of the water but boy it was windy like really really windy um, and it was a quite a challenge to keep Alice in the middle of the canal and not bash into them 
Now, I bet the wind turbine in my last episode would be spinning round and round and round, earning loads and loads of energy. But it's calmed down a bit now, and the sun's come out, so it's all good. Neston, there's a 228 meter tunnel. Luckily with this tunnel I can actually see the end before I even go inside. It's only wide enough for one boat but nothing coming and it didn't take me long to get through. After bridge 61A is where the canal terminates. There's a winding hole here, for obvious reasons, Elsan, toilet and water facilities. So that's the Ashby Canal. Not too difficult, no locks whatsoever, just one tunnel. But boy, it went through some wonderful countryside, really, really peaceful. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Just so you know, I subtitle, or as you call it in the States, caption all my videos in English. It takes quite a long time for me to do, but I feel if you're hard of hearing, if you're on a train or you just need to be quiet, they are there as an option. Just click the subtitle icon at the bottom right of the video. All three of the Ashby Canal episodes have also been translated into a number of other languages, so let me know in the comments below if you find the service useful and what language you use. Until next time, see you later.